In honor of Earth Week, we are learning how to reduce, reuse, and create with Upcycle Arts. Now, Upcycle Arts is Charlotte's first creative reuse center, and here to tell us all about it, founder and executive director, Angela Colmer. So, thank you so much for being here. So excited to have you and learn more about this reuse center that you guys have created. You started this all by yourself. Yes, um, it's our Charlotte's first creative reuse center, like you said, and so it's kind of a thrift store for art supplies. So we get donations of items, both traditional and non-traditional art supplies from individuals, businesses, mm -hmm. or manufacturers in the area. And then we divert them from the landfill, both through our programming and at our retail store. Yeah, and you make cool things like this. This is a wine cork coaster. We're gonna learn yes. uh, more about how to make that in just a second. Uh, I do wanna talk a little bit more about Upcycle Arts first though. Are there mm -hmm. any items that you don't accept? Absolutely, there are some things like house paint, um, old electronics, mm -hmm. uh, large items uh, that we can't accept. Um, things that aren't in good condition or stained, broken, et cetera. Sure. Um, but we accept everything from canvases and paint brushes to old fire hose and wire connectors. Yeah. Um, just trying to get to like inspire people to reuse in an interesting way and use those kind of um, seemingly unwanted materials. Sure. Great resource for teachers. We know a, a lot of the supplies that teachers buy come, come out of their own pocket. So uh, I'm sure that they appreciate all that you guys have to offer. Absolutely. We do a gift card giveaway for teachers in the area every month and teachers always get 10% off at Upcycle Arts because we know how hard they work. All right, very nice. So our glue gun looks like it's heating up. You want to kind of walk me through how to do this? Yes, absolutely. So this is a wine cork coaster, mm -hmm. super simple to make. They can be from your own personal collection. You can buy wine corks from Upcycle Arts I by Wayne. I save mine. I have like absolutely. a big jug and I just put them in there every time I Absolutely. And this a is a perfect little craft to yeah. make with it. So we cut our corks in half first. You can do that simply with a box cutter mm -hmm. or a really nice pair of scissors. Sure. Um, so for our coaster, we're going to arrange them in this kind of order where it's three, four, five corks in a row and then back down. Mm -hmm. And we're simply just going to glue them together to form our coaster. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And how did you come up with this idea? Oh, it's so, I mean, corks, like, they absorb heat very, very well. Sure. So it's kind of the perfect thing to use them for. So it could be a coaster. You can use them um, for, you know, little trinkets around the kitchen to sure. keep your pots off of the counter. Yep, absolutely. Um, and it's super simple to make. Well, you are definitely very crafty, Angela. <laughs> for somebody who maybe isn't as crafty, but they want to, uh, you know, have some fun, maybe have some fun uh, with their kids and do some something creative, what would you recommend? Do you guys have any classes where you teach kind of like arts and crafts? Yeah, so we do make and take events throughout um, the city of Charlotte. Mm -hmm. We just did them for Charlotte Shout and Charlotte Earth Day. And we do programming at, um, we have an event coming up at Birdsong Brewery mm -hmm. on Saturday where we make cool wall decorations nice. out of vinyl records. Yeah. Um, so you can always check out our website to see what events we have. And we've had a lot of parents come into the store with their kids and just have them kind of look around and go crazy. Yeah. Um, we had a family come in earlier who knew that weather wasn't going to be great for spring break. Sure. They're like, we need an activity for our kids yeah. to do if we're going to be inside. Exactly. So they just let them into the store and said, we're going to build a robot, get all your robot materials. Yeah. And it's really fun. It's a fun thing to do together. Yeah. Speaking of uh, staying busy, you started this business, well, not business, but nonprofit in the middle of the pandemic. We're going to talk more about that in our next segment and finish this craft. So thanks again for being here, Angela. We sure do appreciate it. Yeah. And for more information, you can visit our website, WCCB charlotte.com or upcycleartsclt.org. All right, we are back in the Rising Kitchen with Angela from Upcycle Arts here in Charlotte. And Angela, while I finish this wine cork coaster, in case you missed it, we're going to have a recap of how to make it on our website, wccbcharlotte.com. But I want you to tell people if they missed the segment before, what is Upcycle Charlotte? Um, so Upcycle Arts is Charlotte's first creative reuse center. So it's essentially a thrift store for art supplies. Sure. So we get donations of both traditional and non-traditional items, you know, like canvases, paintbrushes, to um, fire hose, old bike parts, and we sell them at a fraction of the cost to get people trying to reuse these items in a creative way. And this is so timely and perfect for Earth Day because you guys are able to divert a lot of materials um, and, and people are able to reuse them. Tell me how much leather you guys have 
diverted this year so yeah, far. Yeah, absolutely. We worked with the city of Charlotte on a warehouse that was full floor to ceiling full of leather and mm -hmm. we diverted 120,000 pounds of leather into the hands of local designers, mm -hmm. makers, teachers, sure. small businesses. Um, and it was just great that that leather is going to be reused and accessible for people here versus just being thrown out. Yeah, absolutely. You started Upcycle Arts during the pandemic. What made you want to start this? Well, I'm largely inspired by the Scrap Exchange in Durham. It's one of the largest creative reuse centers in the world, and they get really fun items like other people's family photos, giant posters of babies. It's mm -hmm. like, it's really amazing just walking through that. And we have one two hours every direction from like uh, Cardinal Direction from Charlotte and we sure. didn't have one here and I thought it was kind of the perfect time to start one. Yeah and you guys have expanded to uh, an actual shop now where people can come and check out your materials. Yes absolutely we're located at the VAPA Center um, right in Uptown mm -hmm. and you can make an appointment to drop off a donation of any leftover art supplies you have in your house that you're not using or to come shop our stuff. Yeah absolutely and that store you're quickly outgrowing it so that's very exciting too. So glad that you are here in Charlotte helping people uh, do better. Any advice for people who want to celebrate Earth Day? You guys have some fun things going on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we have an event at Valentine's Backyard um, for Earth Day. They're doing free recycling and paper shredding. And we'll be there in the evening doing a free craft um, for the kids there. And we'll be watching Finding Nemo. So oh, we're going to be making a fish windsock out of old billboard vinyl. Nice. Um, which will be fun. And then on Earth Day, we have an event at Birdsong Brewing mm -hmm. where we're making uh, wall decorations out of old vinyl records. OK, very nice. Mm -hmm. Always something uh, creative going on. Where do you guys get your inspiration for, for these projects that you open up to the community? Um, a lot of it is just the items. You know, we never know what people are going to donate. Mm -hmm. And so it's really fun seeing, you know, if you give everyone the same material, no one's going to come up with the same idea. Sure. Um, so a lot of times we're just inspired by the different materials that Absolutely. we get. Absolutely. And do you ever need volunteers? Always. <laughs> okay. Yes. She's yeah. like, yes, please. <laughs> so how does people, how do people sign up to come volunteer? Absolutely. If you sign up for our email list on our website, um, we largely post our uh, volunteer opportunities through there as mm -hmm. well as on our social media. Right. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I love that. Thanks again for being here. This is great. Yours looks a little bit better than mine, but that's no, okay. No. I need to come take a class, right? <laughs> At Upcycle Charlotte. All right, Angela, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it. For more information, you can visit our website, wccbcharlotte.com. We'll have a full recap of how these were made, or you can visit upcycleartclt.org.